Okay guys, the video here isn't gonna lie to you. We do have a Simplex 4003 voice panel. It's gonna be cool. Alrighty, I am more excited for this than I've probably ever been in a while because uh, I have never had any voice evacuation system. The thing inside is in pretty decent condition. Uh, it does function. <laughs> um, it got damaged in shipping on the way over here. So unfortunately we had these two switches for manual evac and the all clear message have been broken off. The system trouble light is on because I don't have batteries in here. And uh, the ready to talk LED also was working and then I tried to push it around and I think I snapped it off so I probably got a resolder, but that's no big deal. Um, microphone is in good shape, panel's in good shape. Other than that, it does function. Um, if you wanna see how that's wired up, let's take a look at that. Alrighty, let's go over the wiring of this thing real quick because it's tedious, don't get me wrong. I don't have any batteries in here. I don't actually even have the battery or this panel supervised by the 4010 right now. The 4010 just says it's normal. Uh, so right now we have these guys coming in here. Now what it'll do is if there's a trouble, it'll actually cause an open circuit. Of course, I've bypassed this uh, to keep the system normal while I don't have a set of batteries in here. I hope to change that soon, but I'm not gonna be in any huge rush to get that. So resistor would normally go here uh, between these two. This is coming in from the 4010. So NAC in, uh, positive and negative. That's what tells this thing to trigger. Over here, uh, this board, I don't actually know what this does. It just kind of sits there, it looks pretty. Actually, I think it's the amplifier. So, you know, that's important. Um, <laughs> This is our uh, speakers out. So you can see here, we got our speaker, 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 or this is our uh, relay stuff. Uh, speaker circuits here, most of them are resistored out. This one just continues up and goes out to power our speakers. And over here, we have uh, the power supply board. And of course, we got our power coming in right down here. This wire, this negative wire, is actually running to the auxiliary negative on the 4010. If that negative wire isn't there, it won't work. Now, I learned from experience, because I'm not thinking, if I have the positive wire there, uh, it actually causes this thing to do a continuous horn sound that's awful. Um, so don't do that. Over here, this switch here is a test switch. If I hit that, it, uh, well, it, it silences this. So this thing now doesn't respond here. It causes a trouble on the 4010 because that part is supervised. So there's that. And of course we have our microphone here, the microphone supervised. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so you can kind of hear that there. Pretty cool. So in the video there, I actually talked about a negative wire that's running into here. Um, let me just show you that real quick. It's, uh, yeah, this neg this is actually negative. I've got these reversed. So when I <laughs> when I said, hey, um, this is if you if you put the positive wire in the negative terminal, it breaks things. Yeah, that's that that's why. So don't do that. I should probably flip these around, but I lazy. And I've got some other reasons to just wait on rewiring everything, uh, and you'll see why. So this panel's huge and it's heavy. Um, but like I said, it does work. Let's start with, uh, well, we already did the microphone in there. Let's go ahead and we will hit a pull station. Oh, let's talk about devices first. System sensor, uh, he, I, I don't know. It, it's an L series white speaker stroke. Looks great. Fantastic. Uh, and over here is the, uh, Advanced Series Speaker Strobe. SPSR is the model number there. So 
That's probably the SPSWL, I would imagine. So that's cool. Um, we've got this pull station here, so the ADA style pull station. Why don't we hit that? And you'll hear these things light up. Alrighty. Attention, attention, attention. An emergency situation has been detected in this building. Proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building until directed to by the proper authorities. Attention. Right, attention. So that's going to go for attention. a little bit. Let's go ahead and silence that. One thing I actually meant to do uh, before I got too ahead of myself here was set it to be slow whoop instead of that march time. So um, what you heard was uh, march time 120 beats per minute horn. That's their horn sound. There's a little uh, dip switch down here that's behind this thing, so I actually have to take this off again to set that. But uh, your settings are in here. Uh, so if we want to do slow whoop with a message, it's 1001, 1001 on the eight things that are down here. So I'm going to set that real quick. Let's set it to slow whoop, and then we'll continue the test. A change is made. We're going to try to hit this pull station here and see if we get slow whoop. There it is. Attention, attention, attention. An emergency situation has been detected in this building. Proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building until directed to by the proper authorities. Attention, attention, attention. An emergency situation has been Alrighty, detected well, uh, in this building. Proceed to the nearest exit and leave test. the building. Do not re-enter the building until directed to by the proper authorities. Attention, attention, attention. An emergency situation has been detected in this building. Proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not Let's see if we get that to activate the first level the again. Authorities. There it goes. Perfect timing. Building until directed to by the proper authority. Okay, we're going to slow Yeah. Attention. 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 An emergency situation it's pretty loud. has been detected in this building. Proceed to the nearest exit and Like, it's pretty building. darn loud. Do not re-enter the building until directed to by the proper authority. Let's go ahead and see if we can reset from the enunciator today. So I do have it set up to do audible silence. So that silence the signal. So they're still flashing, though. Let's go back over here. Didn't think this through. There you go, still flashing. And now if we uh, do a reset. The enunciator there, we'll be all good to go. And that should uh, make sure the system's clear, make sure there's no smoke left, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. So we do have a voice system now, it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how much we're going to be doing with the voice system and how often, but I would like to keep it in use as much as possible. Uh, next couple home system tests are probably going to include voice stuff, uh, simply for the fact that it's cool and different, and I have speakers that I've never been able to use, you know, properly because I don't have a proper voice system. So that's going to wrap up the test there. Let's just do something, you know, tedious and fun. But I get asked this, um, you know, from my work in the field. What do we do when we have a voice system? Well, I've only had a voice system actually like once. So in the field, if we're doing a uh, voice system, we normally grab the microphone. We'll say something along the lines of this. Attention, attention. We'll be testing the life safety system. Please disregard all signals. Something along the lines of that, right? At the end of the testing, we'd come back on. Testing. 
is complete. Thank you. And that's kind of how things go. So if you're ever curious about how things normally go like that in the system, we'll normally go about that. Now, here's what I've noticed about this. That's interesting that it just did that. So it does like a quick like blurp when the microphone turns off, but only sometimes. It doesn't do it all the time. It's just sometimes. Um, not sure what that's about. I'm not sure if it's just a weird thing in there or what, but you know, it is what it is. Also, if you guys are wondering, I can't change the voice message that comes out of this. It just is what it is. Um, can't say anything about elevators. Can't, uh, you know, upload a custom song or whatever. Reason being is uh, I don't have the software to do it. So, I mean, if Simplex wants to give it to me, they can, but I know they won't. So that is all there is. Guys, thanks for watching. I always appreciate the support. This kind of expensive purchase item would not be possible without your guys' support. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I didn't pull that. Now I did. There you go. We'll end on that.